Welcome back to the channel, homemaker. I'm so glad you're here today. In this video, we'll be doing some fall homemaking and we're gonna start by sprucing up the front porch. You might be like me and find yourself looking at Pinterest and magazines for inspiration when you're getting ready to start a new project. I just love to look at those things, but then I quickly realize that that's just not realistic for my level of homemaking. So I'll be sharing with you some simple things that I do to get my porch ready for fall. This year we had some extra cleaning to do because of Hurricane Helene. It came through here on a Thursday night and even though we had power lines and trees down and our schools are still closed at the time of recording this, Y'all, we are so blessed, and, and I know it. When I see the footage of the different areas that Helene has wrecked, it just breaks my heart. And please know that if you're in that area, I am truly praying for you every day. So we did our cleaning in phases. The first thing we did was clean up the damage from Helene, and then we did a deep cleaning on the porch. I just love to be as frugal as I can when I'm decorating. We stopped by Sam's and I picked up these two pumpkins for $7 each. I also purchased some mums for $12 a piece for my son's old high school FFA organization. And I just love supporting them. It's one of their biggest fundraisers of the year. And look how big and beautiful these mums are. My daughter Maggie and I just love to have girls days together. One thing that we love to do every fall is to visit the produce market and pick out new pumpkins. And while we were out, we visited our favorite coffee shop. We're having fun out on our girls' day. We just left at home where we were getting some things for our Operation Christmas Child boxes. And now we're headed to look for some pumpkins. produce stand didn't have all their pumpkin shipment in yet so we're gonna try again next week thank you so much for being here today if you're new to the channel my name is Jennifer and Bluebell Charm is a channel for women who love their homes and families and want to grow in their faith and homemaking the place I find myself spending the most money is at the garden center. I don't know about you, but I love shopping for plants and I always feel like a kid in a candy store. Our winters are so mild here in Georgia that pansies and snapdragons will live all winter long. And I just love seeing those beautiful little pops of colors during the winter. I am so excited to be getting this porch finally cleaned off. I really didn't get to use my porch that much this summer. We had a pretty dry summer. That in combination with a big construction project that was going on near here just kept a huge dust storm going. It kept everything so dusty 
and there was really no point in trying to use the porch because as soon as I would get it cleaned off, it would just be dusty again. Zechariah 4.10 says, Do not despise these small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. We're all in different phases of our homemaking, and we all have different challenges. Maybe you're like me and you're not the best decorator. Big and expensive doesn't always mean better. The Lord rejoices to see how you care for your family, no matter how small or insignificant it may seem. In your homemaking, start where you are, do what you can, and leave the rest to God. And of course, one thing that makes it simple is to use the same decorations year after year. The fall season is so fun, especially if you have small children or grandchildren. When my kids were little, I would try to do things to make it extra special for them, especially on fall break. We would usually take the kids to downtown Savannah for a fun day. Well, this year we decided to do it again. My husband and my birthdays fall about two weeks apart, so we decided to go downtown for a family day. We ate at our favorite restaurant. visited the candy stores, and I loved seeing how all the shops downtown were decorated. recipe for caramel apple cider from the gooseberry patch 
And I thought that would be fun to make to sit and sip and enjoy our newly decorated fall front porch. I'll have the recipe typed up for you down below in the description box. Y'all, I can't wait to try this. Whenever I open the lid to the crock pot, it smells just like a cinnamon roll. Uh-oh. Here's what we picked up for our shoe boxes. We usually just get a few things here and there, but collection time is coming soon. It is next month, so I really needed to get on the ball. Thank you so much for being here today. If you have a prayer request, please leave that down in the description box for me. I would love to pray for you. And until next time, happy homemaking.